Hey y'all, it's Al and Jenny from Sparefoot.com, the world's largest marketplace for storage. And today we're gonna help you figure out what size storage unit you should get. Okay, so Al, tell us some basics about your average storage unit. Well, you got your five by fives, your five by tens, your 10 by fives, your five by 15s, your five by 20s. Whoa, whoa, your... Okay, let's just start at the beginning. Okay, back up. <laughs> the first thing you wanna do is take stock of your stuff. Decide what you really need to put in storage and use that to estimate how big of a storage unit you need. Dang, that's a lot of stuff. So if you wanna start with the smallest unit, a five by five. A five by five is the smallest size unit that you're gonna find at a storage facility. And it's about the size of a small walk-in closet. So you could fit things like sporting equipment, gardening supplies, a few boxes, some clothes, not so much furniture, maybe a desk and a chair, um, maybe a few small items. But in general, five by five is about the size, if you were to stretch your arms, you'd be touching both walls. 5 by 10 units are about the size of an average walk-in closet and are really good for fitting the contents of one bedroom or a dorm room. So if you have a mattress, a smaller couch, a table, some chairs, and some boxes, those will fit perfectly into a 5 by 10 unit. 5 by 15 is large enough to fit the contents of a one bedroom apartment. So if you have a mattress set, dresser, a large couch, entertainment center, bookcase, uh, other home decor, then a 5 by 15 is probably a good choice. Next is your 10 by 10. This is about the size of one bedroom and it's good for fitting the contents of a one bedroom apartment. Um, so think about fitting in a bedroom set, a dining set, maybe some smaller appliances like a washer and dryer, a couple of boxes, some patio furniture. A 10 by 15 self storage unit will hold the contents of a two bedroom apartment or a small house. So if you have multiple bedroom sets and a couple couches, bookcases, appliances, things like that, then go with the 10 by 15. A 10 by 20 unit is about the size of a one car garage and it's good for fitting the contents of a two to three bedroom house or apartment. This is good if you're storing multiple bedroom sets, multiple dining sets, office furniture, bookcases, larger appliances like a fridge or washer and dryer, multiple boxes. 10 by 20s are also pretty good for vehicle storage. So if you have multiple bikes, jet skis, motorcycles, even smaller cars will fit into a 10 by 20. 10 by 30 is about the largest size unit you're gonna find at most facilities. It's about the size of a two car garage and it can fit the contents of a four bedroom house. So if you have large paintings, a gargoyle statue, a fountain, topiary, a dinghy, a catamaran, a rowboat, the cast of cats, but don't store cats, your hopes and dreams, parade float, I hot air balloons. I think they got it. Okay, so also don't forget that most storage units have an average height of eight feet. So when you're thinking about how to organize your stuff in storage, always remember you can take advantage of that vertical space and stack upwards to the sky. And if you're still in doubt, the best thing you can do is gather all your stuff into one place and actually measure it out with a tape measure. That way you know for sure which size unit you need and you don't get one that's too big or too small. Yeah, and for more tips and tricks on storage, moving, and anything home organization related, you can visit the Sparefoot blog, blog.sparefoot.com. And if you just need a storage unit, go to sparefoot.com and you can find and reserve a unit in minutes. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching.